Today is a landmark day in Sheffield Steelers history as they welcome through the doors fan number 5 million for a competitive home fixture. They'll get to watch a team that's on a 10-game winning streak and conceded just six goals in their last seven games. Matt Greenfield gets the start again. More than half of Glasgow Clans League games have gone to overtime this season, including a defeat to Sheffield a month ago, but a win against Guildford last time out. Trampini knocks it forward, it's going to be out of range for Newman. Good atmosphere in the early stages. Jones to Neverliner. Forward down the right wing side, Newman is onside. Plays the pass, dragged in front, good save, Kylie. Allen took up a great position and his put control was good. That's a great little drag and move. A big, tall, rangy guy out in front and Netminder does very, very well to push across to help himself to that nine foot reach to get across the crease. But a great drag from the backhand forward and all the way across the ice or across the net. Buck will swing up the near side wall. The will keep it in the zone. Pinnell sends it around, out front, and Clan weren't far away. It was a great opportunity that they generated for Barry. Didn't hit the target. Should have done better from a glorious position out front. Now Watling gives this one on to Usula, and then for Nichols! Save made, the follow-up is still going to be there, and it's in for Usula! and just couldn't make one more block. Yeah, Nichols does a great job here. Good rush up the ice, but Usla doesn't just hang about on the outside. He's lurking around. He's trying to be in the high slot, and now the opportunity comes in as he's coming through. Gets it batted down. Gets his hands back on here and just gets enough on it. And unfortunately, the clan netminder and defenseman in front can't do anything as you see. Watling doing the acrobatic jump over the top, but the turnaround and the smile on the face at the end there shows just how excited and happy they are to get back on the board. Atlanta racing forward here, led by County. Throws it to the front of the goal, and the Steelers defend it well, and now there's open space for them to attack. Newman loves that. And here's Ciampini. Oh, he didn't get the touch from Newman or Allen. Yeah, Ciampini doing a good job there as Jones jumps in on the play off the faceoff. He does a great job defensively. Backhand shot and an equaliser. It is County. It's all levelled up. Yeah, just when you say it was a good job the other way. Nice little backhand touch pass there. Pass Ciampini from Lynch and then County. Nice. Backhand shelf up over the top of Greenfield's glove. He just can't quite get it up in time as Sheffield have a good opportunity in the other end, only for Glasgow to come back and tie it up. Second goal of the season for Jordan County, and it's a game oh. leveler. Spins it around, Diffley moves it on. Now Newman, and now Nichols. And he was looking again back door, but Champini wasn't quite placed. Yeah, he, where he needed to puck. be. Yeah, shoot the puck there. You've got a nice open lane. Nichols plays the pass. Oh, oh what a save! Big save. <laughs> Terrific stuff from Jake Kiley. All oh, right, Kiley just absolutely robs Steeler player out in front on a one timer. Nichols here this time does make that pass across, and look at this big push. A little awkward splits as well, but does just enough. Maybe up into the top part of the net. That goes in, but anything down low, it's Newman, I think, that tries to get a hold of that. Doesn't get it up and over. Home um, crowd is a little bit flat. They need a lift. Patrick sends it out to the far side. Sorsman should have this one dealt with. His clearing attempt gets blocked. Lamb will try and profit. Patrick. Oh, that one's tipped away by Whistle. And now the Steelers will get a break with Schuzer in support. Oh, he tried to play it across. Oh, and it's just over the top. And then fired in from the boards, and Kylie saves and restores calm. Yeah, that almost picked up the uh, the home crowd there. You could feel the uh, the anticipation going down. Whistle tries to make a sauce pass up over to the back door to Shudra down the far side. Good job by the clan defenseman. Long body, just getting enough of it. Whistle pinches it there, and you can see chasing down. Both of them are off to the races here. 
Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a rollover play by Sol there. Old Dominic Hassett rollover and sticking the leg up. 6.14 to go in the second period. Clan have it in the offensive zone. Sent towards goal, it's lurking loose, loose and dangerous. And still, Steelers just want this one away and out of the zone. And Diffley can't provide that. Hayden moves it across. Clan moving dangerously. Greenfield makes the save and Clan put in the rebound. Yeah, and this is what you end up getting. You, you don't clear the zone and a shot and a rebound. Greenfield there doesn't quite handle it as it looks like it hits the bottom of his thumb or whatever and a good follow-up play by the clan defenseman. Looks like it goes five hole on the second opportunity as if he doesn't quite get the puck out there under heavy pressure. Callan's fifth goal of the season. Cisco to Hayden and Stevenson. An even strength goal at 34-43. Long chase back for Cormier. He's got County right with him, and County's won it back. Saul steps forward, throws it at goal. Oh, and it's tipped over the top by Saucerman. That's one of those ones that we were saying, as long as you don't get your stick in the lane and tip it up and over your netminder, and that was very, very close. One of the deflecting shots at Sauce. Not a couple of feet in front of your own netminder. Reddick will get to this. And Clan get onto it, and the net is empty. And Lakovic has got a chance to find it. Oh, it's just wide. Was that a penalty? No, it wasn't. Lynch again, almost. <laughs> Give it away one more time. 40 seconds. Thrown net front and deflected away. Balmas has got it. 30 seconds. Sorcerman. Steelers need a slice of luck or a moment of magic. They'll take either. Dowd deflects away. Sorcerman. Fired through. Save Kylie. Puck is live. And Clan get to it first. Ten seconds. Tansy. What a block. Tansy again. What a save. And the puck is not in. It's not in. The horn has gone, but the puck was not in, and it was waved off by the officials with four seconds left. The crowd are celebrating, but the officials never gave the goal. They may well take a look at this, but it didn't look in live. It didn't look like it was. It looked like Kylie had done everything he could to keep the puck out of the net. As his Tansy gets a shot through here yet again. Right there. Big leg save is underneath him. And that, ooh, oh, it is. Ooh, depending on when the whistle goes, and well, <laughs> that's, wow. that's going to be oh, an interesting no. one. Because great job by Kylie and good job by Fusilla in front too. Because it depends if the whistle has gone at that point. We don't know when the whistle was because obviously well, Miller's on this whistle, side. You see the whistle go to the mouth afterwards. Yeah, he's waving we it off, but it's a question of whether he's blown the whistle or the other official has blown the whistle before the puck is waved off. And here we go, okay. looks like it. Are they going to do rock, paper, scissors to come out and see who uh, who gets to <laughs> make the call? An almighty cheer or an almighty boo awaits the signal from Andrew Miller. And you got the boo, right? And Aaron Fox wants to know why. So the Steelers' net is empty which I've never seen for a face-off in the offensive zone. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to, you can see the clan are lined up, they're going to take one, somebody off the bench and send them go up the middle of the ice, but it's not going to work, is it? Is that. It's a win for the clan by two goals to one. And the clan are loving the boos that they hear. When Miko Yusula opened the scoring, the Steelers thought that tonight would be like last night that they would go on to win but Clan put up a much more stubborn resistance than the Giants were able to do they fought back to equalize and they went on to win by two goals to one so Mika Yusula man of the match but no Eddie tonight Aaron your thoughts on that one please yeah disappointing we didn't come away with the win tonight obviously um 
you know, I think we had close to 50 shots and kept them to under 20. You know, those are usually hockey games you're going to win. Their goalie played real, real well. Um, you know, a couple controversial decisions tonight, too. First goals offsides by two feet, and then there's one late that, you know, we see clearly cross the line, and it goes goes the other way. But that's sport. That's hockey. Um, man, we haven't lost a hockey game since October 1st. You know, we've had a couple tough weeks. Um, boys played hard. Hart was in the right place for sure tonight. You know, I'm not, no disappointment from, for me on that side. It's just one of those games where I thought we created plenty, plenty tonight to win. A couple really good looks on the power play that didn't fall as well. Um, yeah, just those are points lost that you'll, you'll look back and be disappointed in. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, like I, I didn't think we played a bad hockey game. There's a saying over here after the Lord Mayor show and perhaps after last night, such intensity, such speed. Did we have that same speed and intensity tonight? Uh, hard to say. You know, if you look at the numbers throughout the season, the second night of a back to back, your numbers are always down, um, you know, from the, the trimp level that we monitor the players on every single time. There's just you just don't have as much in the tank on these back to backs. Um, which I think is why a lot of countries in Europe do the Friday Sundays instead of the Saturday Sundays. Um, but I thought we, honestly, I thought, you, you know, again, you put 50 shots on a, a good team. We created plenty of offense. Um, maybe it wasn't quite as tight defensively back and forth like last night was. Um, but again, I liked our effort. I liked our compete. You know, just pucks didn't fall for us tonight. Yeah. We can see on the big screen, at the end, you talking to the referees, what's going on? What's actually going on down here? And how did you see that incident with just four seconds remaining? Yeah, well, again, it's it's a tough one. I understand that there's a pile up there. All we have was the footage that were sent to us on the iPad. We see that the puck crosses the line before any whistle is blown. Um, you can see, you know, white between the puck and, and the goal line there. The ref said they, they challenged it to see if it crossed the goal line and they couldn't see a puck in any of the replays that uh, that they saw so I mean again that's it's part of this business and you know I was uh, honestly I was a little bit more disappointed on the offsides on the first goal mm -hmm. which is a clear offsides in a one nothing hockey game that gives them a little bit of life and momentum changes the dynamic of that hockey game too so but again this is there's there's always going to be we make mistakes as players out there I make mistakes as coaches referees make mistakes too this is the human element of our game and that's just the way it works sometimes coach can you sum up your thoughts after that road win yeah, just real proud of the guys, uh, you know, traveling here with a short bench and uh, some key guys out injured and um, away and um, yeah, just couldn't be more proud of the group. Uh, we stuck together. Obviously, that's a high powered offensive team we just faced and uh, they produced a lot off the rush, but we, you know, we defended very well, uh, you know, just guarding against the second chances, the tips and the rebounds and tying up sticks and sacrificing blocking shots. Just uh, obviously Jake Kiley gave us a, you know, he was the backbone tonight, and um, you know we saw a lot of pucks and stopped him. He's he's been unbelievable last last few games here, and uh, pretty much the reason why we're winning, we're all we're all buying in, committing to the system, and, and sticking with it for 60 minutes. And it was nice, to, uh, a great response after uh, first goal against. We responded with a goal to tie it up, and then uh, take the lead there in the second. Uh, you know, it was nice for County to get his first goal of the year, and Callen, you know, chipped in offensively. Um, Oh, just great all-round team effort from top to bottom. And the penalty killers as well. Four for four tonight against a unit that's been over 35% this season. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, that, that just goes back to the sacrifice and the commitment of the guys. Our uh, PK guys, they're, they they put their bodies on the line every game for us. And uh, credit to them, you know, 100% again tonight. And a job all done for them as well. You've had so many games go into overtime this season. You had a late lead on Friday. How were the nerves in those final few minutes? Well, I think we, we learned from that. Uh, you know, I think we carry that experience in. We, we've had so many close games where they're trying to tie it up or defend. And uh, like you mentioned, a lot of overtime. So we, we've been in those tight situations. It's just uh, it's nice that we didn't have to go in overtime tonight. There was one very controversial moment at the end. How did you see things from your perspective? From here on the bench, it looked like Kylie had possession under his body. Um, and then obviously that's, I think, why the whistle was blown. And then they kind of pushed Kylie into the net. Um, whether the puck crossed the line, I couldn't tell from my angle. Um, but obviously, a coaching challenge with that late in the game was the right call. And looking ahead, the clan's moving up the table. Do you feel things are heading in the right direction for you? 
Definitely, yeah. It's been a it's been a process, you know. A lot of new guys to to the league and um, to the group. So it's like a, we got a tight knit group off the ice, and it just takes time to to fully gel on the ice. And I, I think we're getting there. And uh, the guys are believing now. Um, you know, when we stick with it for 60 minutes, uh, that we can beat anybody.